Hello everyone, I'm Rainbow Rat, and welcome back to Undertale. This is going to be the final episode. I've defeated Asriel. The barrier is broken. Everything is going according to plan. I'm just going to say goodbye to everyone before I leave, because I don't want to leave just yet. I'm not ready for this to be over. Okay. I want to see what happened to the coffins. Not that we know the rat coffin wasn't for me, actually. But it's for the first human, because... Although I thought their body was back. The coffin is empty. You didn't notice before, but there's something like... Mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Yeah, where is... Because... Okay, so... More dump, if you didn't know this. Like I said, I doubt anyone's watching my playthrough of Undertale as our first experience in Undertale. But in case you were, um, the, so the character that I read, the canon name, their canon name is Chara, and they are the first human that fell down, and then they were Asriel and Tor, or Asgore and Toriel kind of adopted them, and they were like siblings with Asriel, and then, I'm just gonna save it all of these so that I don't have to worry, okay, um, let's do this, I don't think there's anyone here, I don't want to um, so they're like siblings with Asriel, and then they are making a pie for their dad once, and they accidentally put buttercups in it, and it makes him really sick, and then the Charter like has this plan that's like, hey, it's a cool prank, bro, let's get me really sick. And then I don't... The implications of what Chara actually meant with their whole thing, like how far they meant to go with their prank, is kind of ambiguous. I didn't think there was anyone this way, but I still wanted to walk the long way. Um, they're kind of ambiguous, but like, some people... I don't see this in the genocide run. You could go watch someone else's. I don't think I'm playing genocide anytime soon. I'm just making sure no one's creeping out in their house. Um, but... Yeah. Um... The implications of whether they actually meant to die or not are kind of vague. Which I like. Because, like, you play this, you play the pacifist run, and it's all like, oh, they died, and it made Azrael really sad, and Azrael's really sad and lonely. And he, oh, and he became flowy. Um. Yeah, so, but in the genocide run, towards the end, it's like, oh, they want to destroy the entire world. So it's like, did they mean to die and have the barrier get broken so that the monsters could come out and, like, kill everyone? Or, like, what? there and I don't know I don't think I think Chara themselves is not an evil character I don't think I don't think they killed like meant to die entirely I think like none of us can it's all very ambiguous at least I don't think it's completely canon and if it is you can yell at me and tell me I'm wrong and then I'll be okay I'm wrong uh, it happens I am a Chara apologist. <laughs> um, but yeah, they die, and then Azrael absorbs their souls, so he can crush the barrier and gets them, brings them to the flowers. Um, and so they go to the flowers, and the humans, like, really beat up Azrael, and he's dying, and he brings them back. And this Eldor must be the king's castle filled with determination. Okay, I don't think there's anyone up here. Oh, there is someone. See, I didn't do this for nothing. Um, why do I look like a black sausage and not a knight or a wizard? Well, everyone has an angle they look best from. Yeah, but, um, so Azrael gets covered in the flower seeds because it says the seeds are really sticky and they stick to you and stuff. And he comes back holding Char's body and then turns to dust. Because he died. So, um, the whole thing is like... Chara's body's still there, or it should still be there, so why... Chara's body's still there, so like, why... There you are. The core is made up of interchangeable rooms. Before you came here, the layout was altered so you would get lost and perish. Yes, just for you. Do you feel special? Um, is this... this is not the one. Is this the one I just was at? Because I think this might be the one that I was just at. This is definitely the one that I was just at. Oops. Um. 
basically comes back covered in the seeds, and that's why the golden flowers are now growing at, in the throne room and all over the underground, kind of, you know? That's the way I came. Cool, 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 cool. Felt this nice and oops. So he turns to dust on the flower, and that's why the first flower is able to turn into Azriel. Once it's filled with determination, well, not Azrael, but it like takes his consciousness. Once it's filled with determination by um, Alphys, uh, because it already had his like dust on it and it was filled with his essence, as they said. Um, see, it's taking a nap. It's like they said that the mo about the monster funerals, they throw their ash, their dust onto their favorite place or thing or whatever, and it gets imbued with their essence. Um, so that happened with the flower; it had his essence. We were hired by Medicine to destroy you, but since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. Yeah, makes sense. Um... I don't think there's anything up here. Hey! As a youth, I would sneak out to play by this creepy flaming pit. Since the core is always rearranging, it was like a game trying to find it. Now it is my special place. It's, a nice, it's nice for cooking s'mores and things like that. That's nice. I want some more. I don't remember what's that. Oh, I, I don't remember what that elevator is. I think that's the elevator to the top of the core. Um, yeah, so he turned the part, but Char's body should, was still there. So it should theoretically still be in the coffin. So I don't remember. I don't know what happened to that Char's body. I'm unsure, but. I'm sure. I'm unsure. I'm sure there's a lot of theories online about, like, Tori taking it with her to the ruins or something like that. I don't know. I think I saw one theory that it's Char's body is under that, like, patch of flowers where Frisk first falls down. It's an interesting theory. And then the whole thing was, like, so their soul kind of, like, whooshes a little bit into Frisk, and so when you do the genocide route, they're the one taking over or whatever. I don't know how much- they're like a demon child or whatever. I don't know how much I believe it, because I like- I like to think that they don't mean to be that evil, like Azrael, when he's wowy, they don't mean to do that, but because they're dead, the player can have much more of an influence over them than the living. Like, we have a big influence over Frisk, obviously, because we're pretty much doing everything, telling Frisk everything to do. But Char, we can like change their entire personality based on whether we do a good ending or bad ending, whether we decide to save everyone or kill everyone. I really think the bad person is just sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time or ever again. That was Burger Bands. What can I do for you, little buddy? So we're free, huh? Madison told us as much, and then he told me. Don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much. Those girls? The ones who saw my pants fall down? Well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again, at least. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Maybe because they'll make fun of me. But I, I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job, I think I did something. They don't know if it's true. But I'll believe it anyway. I ate the surfe that you sold me, so I believe you had a big impact, buddy. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my um, qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or, or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. <laughs> but it's as I say. Nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. Anytime, little buddy. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news! The elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Do I still have things that I can do for these? Because I totally would. Oh, I'm the mom, man. Now I'm trying to finish up work. No response. Room service never came. Sigh. It's locked on the inside. 
Room service never came to die. Okay, I can't do the room service things, which is fine, because I didn't have the things anyway. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Check the restaurant end. Blub blub. Now we can live without life without reservations. So, if we're leaving, well, my job, ugh, and I just got a raise. Well, I guess every apple has its gore. <laughs> the surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to get two feet without running into puzzle. Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. Mood. Uh, some kind of feature check. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I finished saying, um... Yeah, Asriel turned into Flowey, and... Is there anyone on this side of the thing? I don't think so, but I'd like to be very thorough. As much thorough as I can with my ADHD brain. Let's see what I remember and where. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. So, like, what's up? So, we're, like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's, like, pretty chill, I guess. I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? D did we say that? Probably. It's, like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought the catchphrase was, b b Ratty's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no. We've, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? <laughs> I missed the end of that, but that's fine. Future. <laughs> now that we're gonna be free, oh gee, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy? Do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like so tasty and cute. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was, like, so clueless looking. I pet it for, like, an hour. Caddy. Yeah, Braddy? I think that was, like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. Dogs are just firm cats. Like, see you later and stuff. Okay. I need to send Temi to Colic. I'm so excited to sell an ice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be a modest success. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. There's anyone on the stage area, but I want to look. Hey, there is. You. Metaton. He recognized my voice from when I called in, and he he gave me his dress. I'm so. <laughs> oh, I love it. We love. Hmm. I love that. I don't think there's anyone down here, but I want to check. Also, I'm dumb and I should have gone this way first because I didn't realize that going the other way puts me through Muffet's place and I want to say hi to her and the players. Hey, it's Vulcan. Hooray! Surface World will have so many new friends to help. Thank you. Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside the ruins. And we'll also be able to afford four pairs of stylish heels for every spider. Good for you, Muffet. I'm glad. I've been thinking about getting a sick skateboard. On the surface, we'll be able to watch all kinds of TV, but I bet none of those shows are as good as Metatons. I, I, I'm thinking of going to the surface. Eh? You're going to go there too? Idiot. Quit following me. 
on the surface. I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. I wanted another hot dog, but the hot dog guy never came back. Besides that, today was fine. Count your blessings, even if you don't get a second hot dog. Open again. Toasty bun. Well, I guess not again. There's more than one of them. Another Sunday airplane. Ah, uh, 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 human. You're, you're leaving? I have something to say to you. Admittedly, I may have had a limerent feelings for you before. However, upon examining my own actions, I now realize I do not love you. I was merely infatuated with the concept of love. The idea of romance, the concept of sharing affection with another. Through these desires, I built a false con concept of you in my head. Such a relationship would not have ended well. In closing, I believe it is better that I chose to say nothing. You, 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 you idiot. Ha 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 ha, I wonder if any humans would be my friend. Psych, that never happened. Here, I'm your friend. I don't care if you agree, I say so. Oh, freedoms. Feels so spicy. <laughs> if we leave, no one will have no one will really ever know. There will be lots of places to loiter on the surface, I bet. Hey, did you hear? The barriers opened up. Now school has to be cancelled, right? Yeah, I think school's cancelled. You're gonna have to enroll in like actual school though. Like not not that monster school is an actual school, but like <laughs> Mixed school. I'm sure that'll be a thing. The barriers open up, so we didn't have to go back to work today. I mean, sure, we're free, but it's, it's the little things, you know? Today we all started as co workers. Who knows what will be tomorrow? I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. You again? Bah! I don't care about going free. Do you think humans could appreciate the details of classic puzzles? I probably don't remember half the NPCs, um, voices. Most of them, probably. Uh, if they're not the main characters, then I don't know. Is this still the same? Okay, this is still the same. No one's come by being like, we're free! Oh, it's Temmie's. Oh, Tem here news. Very news. Very goods. Oh, Tem here news. Very goods. Yeah, Thames can go free! A pleasing development. No. Whoa, if Thames can go on surface, can see lots of cute Hoonin! Everyone's go free, but Tem! Tem not leave! Tem watch egg! Tem will be happy, family! Oives! She's waiting for someone to let her out. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they are willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. Oi, welcome to the Tem shop. Oi, I'm Temmy. Oi, I'm Temmy. Uh, deep history. Tem shop. Pay for calling. Whoa! That's a lot of muns. Can Tem really accept? Okay, so Tem, go to calling and make you prouds. You left your face. You left your face. Oh, you have a cap. Tem, back from Cool Leg. Tem, learn many things. Learn to sell new items, yada. Yeah, yeah. Temmy armor. I don't need Temmy armor. But I just like sending Tem to college because I believe in education for those who just who want it. How about Temmy armor? Tem armor so good. Any battle become any easy victories. But mm, Tem think if you use armor, battles wouldn't be challenged anymore. But Tem have solution. Tem will offer a scholarships. If you lose a lot of battles, Tem will lower the blood price. So if you get get to tough battle and feel frustrated can buy Tim armor as last resort, but Tim armor so good, promise to only buy it if you really needs it. Okay, well I don't really need it because I don't have any more battles to fight. But I feel good. I don't need to buy anything else in this run, so I feel good about sending Tim to college, even if it don't help me much right now. Well, I knew you could do it. 
Twelve months. Why? Okay. Okay. I remember clearly now. It was the monthly address of the castle, and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved Pat to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, fluffy buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest of it is history. <laughs> is that for a goat? Yeah, <laughs> goat. Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower pattern Moo Moo. Folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest of them all. We call him boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age, and probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that won't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Aww. Oh. Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course, Toriel was queen and Asgore was king. It was tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together. Nuzzle noses being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. I've given him like five accents in this whole thing. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Gerson, the hammer of justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. Well, ha 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 ha. Be careful out there, kid. Oh, I will, Mr. Gerson. It's already been 30 minutes and I'm only at Waterfall, but it's fine. The housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. Oh, I can't play the snail race. It's fine. The snail race. Nice. Hey, it's Metaton. You're tall. There you are, Frisk, darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alfie's completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes. I suppose I should thank you, too, darling. Before the fight in you, before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to film my upcoming troupe. So far, Shyron's agreed to be my backup singer, and Bl Napsterblock here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? Yes. I'm in your house. Ha 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 ha. Frisk, darling, can you help me with something? What kind of merchandise do you think humans would want to buy? I've thought of a few ideas so far. Buttons with my face. Stickers with my face. CDs with my face. Posters with my face. Shirt t-shirts with my face. Underwear with my face. And plush dolls of Toriel. But you know, with my face instead of hers. So what do you think? The yes or no prompt was not provided. Fabulous, I completely agree. I absolutely would buy all of that. Oh, I can't listen to your music again. Oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to sleep, no one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. Uh, so now the book wasn't part of the final fight at all. He just was like, oh, no thanks. <laughs> Her name? Frisk. I didn't forget. 
because I fried the letters into my hand. Okay, Flicky, is this house still on fire? Yes, but can I talk to you? So, you help- So, you helped us get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Only fire doesn't want to say hi. Don't drag your dirty feet in here, I just cleaned this trash. Other theory, Chara's body is where that one patch of golden flowers is in the dump. Best theory, 10 out of 10. Absolutely canon. We can go and see the real stars now, but I still don't know what those are. I've been wondering when we're all gonna go free. S -s 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 Since if we did, how would I ever know? Well, I'll keep my tentacles out for you. You hear? As soon as I know, I'll be the first to tell you. You hear? Can I please tell her? Can I please tell her? I want to tell her. I don't want her to be stuck down here forever by herself. Oh, it's Shiren. <gasps> the amalgamate was Shiren's sister that died, that fell down. I can't talk to Shiren, but it's good, good to be with my sister again. You came all this way to see me flex. This really says something about you, winky face. And I can't go any further. Hey, there you are. It's gotta be any day now. It's gotta be any day now. Okay, it's only one more thing. I cannot tell Onion-san that we are leaving. The surface intimidates me. The entire outer layer of the earth is made of dirt. This is true. So is the inside layer. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I can call... Tori. Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Stands in office are teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Now turn your head to the left. There's a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you'll receive another. I forgot to do that. You can do that the whole time. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding. LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. I won't, Mom. Excuse me. I did not mean to write sincerely. I meant to say... I meant... Oh, sin sincerely. I meant to say sincerely. It is difficult to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sense to transcribe for me. Having an amorphous, having an amorphous Shinlin family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Oh, I love you. Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That's the normal. Sans will be typing from now on. Oh my, there's so much news to report, I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have any pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? Okay, BuzzFeed. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big the end on the front and call it a day? The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's junior jumble. Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. Toriel sent you a message. Avers, it's Toriel. I just baked a million thousand pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. Also, the response I found might be out of batteries. Okay. I couldn't remember if I could or not. Now you're off duty. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. But do we want Ice Wolf to buy pants? Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Waha, this adventurous spirit. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. Hmm. 
When humans play Monsters and Humans, do they just call it Humans and Humans? Uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. I'll give him the knocks. I'll give him the knocks. That's it. And then up here is just you. I'll get back to you in a minute. Not in a minute, in a long time. Hello. Oh, we're free? Finally! I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was gonna say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Oh, I haven't been checking with Tori. Not the right one. Tori, I'll say you. I did not say any of that. I wonder if the overworld has hot guys and neat to drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk breaches, punk beaches, and punk cream. Good job. He talked! Wow, brand new world. I may not get to translate for Groby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line, so kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere, you hear a whinny of dismay. It finally won a game of poker against itself? A whinny of dismay. Who would whinny? I heard Dr. Alfred told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know, he gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Too bad there are no politics on the surface. I also forgot that they can have more than one text box. Sucks. Too bad, you get the first one. Yo, what's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah, ha ha Yeah, dude. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to watch your younger brother on a leash, right? It's her brother. Uh, is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates, or... No. You're weird. Be nice. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that, anyway? I don't want to move. Hello. Sorry, you had time for a nap. Snowed in is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Care to chat? What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light. Then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then, suddenly, everything was back to normal. Humans. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human... I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decided to stop, decide to stop it, and I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Thanks. Ruins. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They were opened from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Future. Well, I suppose I'll move my store into the overworld. Haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Bye-bye now. Come again sometime. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone asked you, right? Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. I know how to set myself apart now. An ears piercing. Wait. <laughs> you don't have ears. We're all free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging, lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? I guess we'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there that we can live in, right? Ha! After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers, like 20 teen. You! Oh shit, Tori. 
Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. Dream. Dream heals 12 HP, the goal of determination. Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barrier's opened up. Hmm, then, if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. Okay, Mr. Snowman. The doctor. She brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Snowy. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. I'm glad they're happy. Forgot your message. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good in. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Toriel sent you a message titled Cat Video. Inside, she meticulously describes a video which she saw of a, she saw of a small white animal. There is no link or attachment to watch. <laughs> Forward, send this to someone you care about or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. <laughs> She's shitposting at me. Actually, that's not a shitpost, that's a. um. chain mail. Dear Frisk, that you might enjoy, thought you might enjoy this, smiling. It's an ASCII art of a snail. Oh, I love that. I do love that. Dear Frisk, Undyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are ex excellent chefs. I am excited. Maybe if you are lucky, you can have some. Oh, yeah, if I'm lucky. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what it could, we could call it? Dreamer and Femur. LOL. P.S. That is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. Wait, how's the pie? Most of the pie is gone. There are dog prints in it. Still just you, Frisk. Earlier, you identified this as bigger than a twin-size bed, but now you realize that it's actually one size bigger than a double. Which is a queen size. Oh, I can nap. It felt strange to lie in the bed. It feels entirely too small for you now. Ribbit Ribbit, seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barrier's open, too. Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? Ribbit Ribbit, yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. I don't think that, I don't think there's green in the in Delta Rune, but I think there's blue and yellow, and then you can mix them, but they're like half blue, half yellow. Ribbit Ribbit, did you ever find this room's fourth frog? I did. Ribbit Ribbit, say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? I didn't skip you the first time. There's an ant-sized frog sticking near a crack in the wall. It waves at you. Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here up. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? No. The exit's open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Okay, well, I can't push it. I'm trying. Everybody, excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. My boy. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. So I think that's why people think Chara might be have her body there. Or the tree. I think it was either this or the tree. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climbed Mount Evett are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? 
Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you, well, only you know the answer, don't you? Dear Fisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. I know why Rat climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Rat hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Rat. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Rat wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I had always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Rat and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk. This whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I've adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret the decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't the perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well... Not that I have much of a life have much of a life left, but that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this, someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see ya. I don't want to leave him. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Bring you a lost hug. Okay, so that goes back to what I was saying earlier about how I don't think Chara was like, evil genocide monster. They obviously had a lot of trauma in the human world and wanted to not exist in the human world anymore. As Azrael said with them jumping down the cliff. Them jumping down the cliff, they obviously weren't happy. And obviously they wanted to strike back against humanity. But I don't know. I don't think they were completely evil either. Just not the best person. Children. I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Good, be good, alright? Sincerely, Toriel. Okay, that's the last message from Toriel. Toriel is not sending any more messages. Yep. So now I just gotta go back to the surface. Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time, do you not? Sorry. I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working. I know. And it is taking all my concentration. It seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Aye. That's true. Hey, Alphys. Alphys. Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? I I'll see if I can manage to find any like that, Undyne. Yay! On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't, don't tell anyone I said that. Because I'm going to post it online. Don't write fanfiction of real people. Don't write fanfiction of real people. Fictional people. Write whatever you want. I don't care. Um, as long as you tag everything properly. But real people, don't. 
that's a little weird. I'm saying this as someone who grew up reading fanfiction and did have to learn that at some point. Frisk, I just realized, now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Oh, well, actually, the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. But I am so happy you said yes. As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. I'm gonna go downstairs and have tea soon. Then we can be great pals. I wanna make sure I finish all this stuff. Frisk, how about you go look around before we all go? Seeing how many good friends you've made here, I am almost certain you must have made some more. Okay, that's her last line. Oh, wait, I meant to hit Sans. Sorry, I don't have time to talk to this. This is working, it's not working. Frisk, why don't you- Frisk, why don't you take a little walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Mmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly. Not with that attitude. Frisk, take a hike. Hiking is good for your bones. Cool. Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Napsablook? Oh, tell them I said hi too. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Oh, Frisk, if you're not busy, on a nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. I sure am excited to finally use the human internet. I bet they have all sorts of things on Dynamite I can watch. Oh man, we're gonna be able to watch anime online. Of course, Untying. Well, what, what do you think I've been, we've been fighting for all along? Yeah, what do you... Whoops. Jinx, I knew you were gonna make that joke. Wait, Alphys, I didn't know you knew Sans. Well, well, I... Doesn't everybody? Who the hell is Sans? Who the heck is Sans? Toriel? Hey Frisk, why don't you go look for Metaton? He, he was here for a while too, but he, he said he had to go somewhere. Okay. Oh Frisk, if you don't see you, I see you for a Well now I have to go say hi to Nastable and see if I have the option to tell him that Undyne said hi. Oh no, the letters in my hand are joining together. Oh no, I'm gonna forget your name. Oh no, I'm trying to cry more tears into my hand. Oh no, the tears are all forming a big pile. Oh no, your name's getting really long. Oh no, I can't say hi to you for I'm dying. Oh Fritz, why don't you go see how Alphys is doing? Since the flash of light, she's been working hard to set everything right. Haha, <laughs> about time, huh? Okay, so I did all that for nothing. Time to go. Ian. I don't want to see. 650 minutes. Ish. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever, ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? 
Absolutely. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. That'll go make a good first impression. That's a bad idea. Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. And he walks back into the underground. <laughs> Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. <laughs> hey, Undyne, wait up. <sighs> Oops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It's just me and Mom. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing that you took so long to change your mind. Hehehe. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you. For as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Everyone is waiting for us. And there we go. I didn't, um, professional frogs are a little kids, they found a new cave before I'm totally. If you, um, fight enough of them and spare enough of them, they turn yellow. Popular nutritionist casually enjoys life, and they get the different thing. Spooky DJ. But I did not get all of the people enough. Ah. Papyrus. And Sans. Seeing eye dog Christmas display. Dog me and Dogaressa. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Aw. Lesser dog and greater dog by Temmy and Toby and Toby and Temmy. Oh, I didn't get. Oh, I didn't get lesser dog enough because I died. And had to redo it. I did. I'm done in Alfie's. All of them. They kissed. She's dead. Definitely here, children. I ran by Temmie, by Temmie reluctantly. And more big. I don't like life on the beach. I didn't get enough of them. Legendary janitor and Temmy. Taking piano lessons again. Calm down just a bit. I know I didn't read all of them, so oops. Metaton. I like those burger pants. Special inspiration. I hope you can't hear the children. That's fine. Vulcan and soon airplane. Finally confesses what? I don't. Encouraging space heater. Fire rope and Muffet. I love Muffet. Spider success with a new bakery. Candle and the world's largest birthday cake. Royal guards. I just realized one has a really long face. Use your imagination. Oh, we should let Alphys know. <laughs> Final frog egg giving life its own meaning and whims a lot. The long battle has finally ended. Astigmatism. Domineering glasses seller. Magic and Night Knight. 
street magician and taking a well-deserved nap. I'm sad that I didn't get all of them in a while, but I forgot that was a thing, honestly. Uh, Amagamites living with their families. Look, he's doing hedges. Asgore and Monster Kid. Oh. It's fine. It's, it's Papyrus. And Toriel's a teacher at the school. Toriel. Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Uh oh. There's, there's some- oh god. Oh god. I'm doing really bad. I think there's a thing if you get like none of them to go yellow. If you get none of them to go yellow, you'll get, get like a, a- not an achievement, but something happens. I don't know what happens. I feel like something happens. Just for fun, I don't know. Ah! Fuck, fuck. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm getting so many here. I got like that whole snowflake. One second! I feel like I hear kids. One second, I'm almost done. And it goes off the page. I'm at the credits. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us, and on our tail team, thanks to you, the player, for from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all this would be impossible. Good night. sleeping. Just like the first time when we were sleeping. Undertale. The end. That is all I have for you today, folks. This, like I said, is one of my favorite games. I think it had a huge impact on me growing up, like, when it came out when I was, like, 12, 13. And it had a very big impact on, like, my teenage years and stuff. And I'm very happy that I get to play it myself, that I got to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, if you did, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And, well, oh, the dog. There's a dog. Let me see what the dog's gonna do.
Yeah, that is not going to do anything. Okay. And I will see you in... Is it going to do anything? I don't think it's going to do anything. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!